mark showing up. I'll have to lower my gain because my lure is showing up real bright for a Swedish pimple. It's a pretty good size. There's a mark coming in from the top. Alright, let's try to catch him. Good either size, I like them smaller by the back. Alright. We're at Georgetown. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we have set up this is our second second spot. The first spot was a little more shallow than I wanted. And all we're using is uh Swedish pimple with a red and red and brown grub just attached to the hook just like that. And it seems to be doing the trick. There we go. Alright, so two kokanee so far. Send, them, send the um, Swedish pimple back down. Uh, there's a big brown down there. And uh, he was going, I had him, he took a, a quick bite, he took it, but I couldn't get a good hook set. There's some more on it right now. I can see one on it right now, and that's a big fish. Now I've got the fish finder but I can see clear down the hole. And it's actually more fun to look at the fish that's trying to get your, your bait. All right, so there's one at five feet. I'll bring it up a little bit to his range. Now I'm jigging in six to four. Oh yeah, he's down there. You see him? Yeah. He's got it. Set the hook. I'm set. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh jeez. Nice big fish. Good job. Yeah, nice. Holy oh, shit! Woo! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Holy cow! Look what at that, that rainbow! Woohoo! Wow! Nice! <laughs> Look at that rainbow! Cool! Wow, babe! Thanks! Nice! Wait. Aggressive jig. I'll throw it up about three feet, let it sink, three feet, let it sink, and then I'll let it sit there. And that seems to cause enough commotion for them to move off the bottom. Alright, so one's just coming up off the bottom now. Oh my god, here. There we go. Another one on. Another kokanee. like I'm trying to set a, a striper bass or a barracuda. <laughs> There we go. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. Another one here. Keeper. Whew. So that one was at seven feet. I could see him down the hole. I set the hook as soon as I saw him take the Swedish pimple. Popped up on the Vexilar. Slippery. Go. Kokanee again. The books. <sighs> Got off the hook. So the pump house is there right behind me. Get to clean your ice hole. Oh, I don't know if I was filming, but got another rainbow on. Tiny guy, good pan fry size. So I'm gonna put him back though. Fish on. As soon as I drop it down. There we go, there's a nice, what is that, brown? Oh, that's a brick trout. Look at that fish. It's a beautiful fish. Look at that. First, first drop came right off the bottom. That's a good sign. Doing something right. So, we've drilled three sets of holes starting at 18 feet, got into about 16 feet, and now we're about 15 feet. We just worked our way towards shore. And I've caught fish in each hole, but after 15, 20 minutes of not catching anything, go to the next hole, catch a couple right away, go to the next hole, catch a couple right away, and then the bites just seem to slow down. So, so far that's three rainbows today and one brook trout. Uh, the brookie was below 16 inches is what you need at least to keep one here so he went back I kept two of the rainbows and now I'm probably gonna keep working my way with new holes towards shore and get into maybe 10 to 15 feet because what we're doing right now in the last hour or so it's been pretty slow so I think the bites just off I threw back. Uh, he was probably only like 14 inches and you have to have him 
at 16 to keep so really nice looking fish though um, I know there's guys posting this weekend on the ice fishing pages in Facebook that they're catching 40 or 50 kokanee in a day I don't know how they're doing it I could not figure out what they wanted to bite on that Swedish pimple seemed to be the only thing that they liked um, but you know I'm relatively new to I have only fished Georgetown twice now so you just got to find those little honey holes and where they like to stay and figure out the lake and I'm sure those guys have been fishing it for years now but the rest of the guys in my group did pretty well they caught quite a few kokanee as well so it's a good trip now headed back three hour drive and beautiful wintry Montana conditions so thanks for watching